Hello and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. We were discussing DFS algorithm and in the previous tutorial we saw how we can find whether the given graph is a connected graph or a disconnected graph using DFS algorithm. Today let's talk about the directed graphs. How to check whether the given graph is a strongly connected graph or a weakly connected graph. A directed graph is said to be strongly connected if every vertex is reachable from every other vertex. A directed graph is said to be weakly connected if it is not strongly connected graph. But if we consider it as undirected graph, then it is a connected graph. Okay, so this is a strongly connected graph. You can reach every node from any node of this graph. And this is a weakly connected graph. Here from D you can't reach A, right? So this is a weakly connected graph. Now today we want to write the program to find whether the given graph is a strongly connected graph or a weakly connected graph. It was easy in undirected graph. We need to apply DFS function on the undirected graph. And if all the nodes are visited, then that graph is a connected graph. If not, it is a disconnected graph. But we can't apply that idea here in the directed graphs. That is because, okay, here we have our program add node, add edge function, DFS function. Okay, this program is for directed graphs and visited set graph. And here we can see add node function, add edge function. So we are representing this graph here. Actually, it is a weakly connected graph. Okay, if I call DFS function here. You need to take starting node. I'll take A and visited set and graph, right? Okay. So now if I save this file and run this file, you can see all the nodes here. All the nodes are visited here, right? But if I change the starting node to D and if I execute this now, here you can see only few nodes are visited few nodes of the graphs are not here that means it is not visited why that is because from the d we can't reach few nodes like this in the diagram you can see so the concept or idea we used in the undirected graph we can't use it in the directed graph to find whether the graph is weakly connected or strongly connected so what is the solution for this problem so here to find whether a directed graph is strongly connected or weakly connected, I'll use algorithm, okay? For the example, okay, I'll take this graph, a directed simple graph. Actually, it is a weakly connected graph. And the first step what I'll do is run DFS function on given graph. You can take any node as the starting node and you need to run the DFS function on that graph. After that, we'll get visited set the nodes which are visited will be present in that visited set. Next, let's see whether all the nodes of the graph is present in the visited set. If all the nodes are present, then that means okay. If all the nodes are not present, then that is a weakly connected graph. If all the nodes of the graph is not present in the visited set, then that is a weakly connected graph. We can conclude that there. But what if all the nodes are present? We can't say that it is a strongly connected graph, right? So for that, we need to go to the second step. If every nodes are visited, then there is a directed path from starting node to every other node in the graph. Okay. So next, what we need to do is we need to reverse the direction of all the edges in the directed graph. Direction of all the edges like this. Here you can see. Third point is again run the DFS function. Take the same starting node. Okay. In the first example, I took A as the starting node. So take the same node here, starting node. After executing the DFS function second time, if all the nodes are not present in the visited set, that means that is a weakly connected graph. If not, if we get all the nodes are visited here, that means it is a strongly connected graph. Here, what we are saying is, if there is a path from starting node to every other node, there should be a path from every node to starting node. If it is true, then that is a strongly connected graph. If it is false, then it is a weakly connected graph. Steps are very simple. First, run the DFS function on the given graph. If all the nodes are not visited, then that is a weakly connected graph. We are done. 
If not, if all the nodes are present in the visited set, then go to the second step. That is, reverse the direction of all the edges in the graph. Run a DFS function on that graph. Take the same starting node. Now what happens is, if all the nodes are present in the visited set here also, then that is a strongly connected graph. If all the nodes are not visited, all the nodes are not present in the visited set, then it is a weakly connected graph. So this is the algorithm. In the next tutorial, we will write the program. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.